Wow, it feels weird holding a camera. Um, good morning, well it's morning for me. Benson is on the couch watching Shark Tale, so I didn't wanna like go in there and do my intro so you guys couldn't hear, but I'm walking in there anyway, so I'll show you what Benson looks like. Good morning! I wanted to show you guys what I eat in a day now, just like an updated what I eat in a day because I'm trying to eat healthier, and um, a lot of you guys have said you wanted to see this video, so I'm going to show you guys. Um, starting with breakfast, of course. So the first thing I do in the morning is I give Benson a banana, and so I'll do that in a minute. And then I get my tea going. So um, for those of you guys that don't know, I have been getting really bad migraines, and I've switched over to tea now um, instead of coffee, which has been actually a very simple, easy transition for me. I was really scared because I love coffee, I'm a coffee addict, and um, that sounds really bad, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I really love my coffee in the morning, so I was like really scared to give it up, but it's been about two weeks now, and so far, it's been great. Um, the one thing, I, ha I just got a really bad headache again yesterday, and so I'm thinking it is my vitamins I've been taking. So you guys, a lot of you guys know that I'm, um, trying to conceive my second baby and it's been 17 months and I've just tried a lot of different things and I've been taking a bunch of vitamins now and that's the only change really in my diet that I've noticed and so I'm gonna stop doing that because if it's making me this sick every month like it's just not worth it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a break from the vitamins and see if that helps if it doesn't I'll get right back onto that routine um, but yeah, let's go ahead and make some tea. So I get to choose from all these different teas. I normally have this one in the morning. This is the organic Earl Grey tea. I love this one. This one was from um, the holidays, which is the winter wake up tea. I love this one too, but it's not organic. So I still drink it here and there, but I know organic, um, you're not supposed to be drinking tea unless it's organic because of how many pesticides they spray on it. Um, and then my all-time favorite is the yogi ginger tea i love this tea so i'll probably be making this um we'll see <laughs> so i did want to show you guys that i got a brand new teapot and this is the brand right here it's called i guess highwear or high were i'm not sure but Anyways, um, I'm going to link this in the description below because I just got it on Amazon and so far it's been really awesome. It does come with this little basket too. Not sponsored, just showing you guys something that um, I really like so far. So if you guys wanna infuse like loose tea, you can do that too. But um, this is what I've been making my tea in. So if you guys are interested, I will put the link down below. As my tea is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and start on breakfast for Benson and I. I usually make him a piece of toast with just some butter on it, and then I'm gonna have some avocado toast with sprouts and tomato with everything but the bagel seasoning. That is my favorite breakfast right now, it's so good. And um, yes, I still have a ton of stuff from the haul I just shot all over my counter because I have no space in my pantry. Um, I'm actually gonna be, um, doing a little giveaway so you guys are getting the inside info um and that will be coming up very soon so i'm going to be using the sprouted wheat sourdough i have been using this for about three four days now and this is so delicious you guys i did freeze it because i had so much bread and then once i ran out of one loaf i just brought that one out and it freezes well i will say very good and now i just keep it in the fridge and it's been so amazingly delicious so I'm gonna grab some sprouts out of my fridge and I have hardly any tomato left that's okay I'll buy some today and then the avocado I'm gonna have to get the butter out for Benson so this is just basically my morning get some butter hardly any left of that too oh my gosh 
For how much I shop at the grocery store, you guys would think I have like so much food, but the things that we actually eat, I still have to go to the store and buy all the time. <laughs> yeah, so I have to go to Costco to get the Kerrygold butter and probably a few other things, and then I have to go to Trader Joe's to get all my produce because we just, you guys know you can't buy produce like, it goes bad. <laughs> Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna make the toast. I'll show you guys exactly what I do and all the steps that I do to make this. Hey! <laughs> you say, hi! <laughs> Avocado first, and then we're gonna do some everything but the bagel seasoning. And I'm gonna add some sprouts. And then tomatoes last. And I just do a little bit more on top. Voila, my breakfast is served. Can't forget about my tea. Mm. Right now, this is my favorite breakfast. I've been making this every morning and it's so good. It hits the spot, it's super filling and it pretty much keeps me going all the way until lunchtime. And I feel like I'm getting some veggies in there too. And this whole grain, or what is it, sprouted sourdough is so good, you guys. It's, I'm gonna keep buying it. I love it. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys back at lunchtime. So it's lunchtime and I did clean up the counters. Yay, me. Go me. Um, <laughs> small accomplishments and victories, you know? I'm going to be making a really simple, really basic lunch today, um, just because I'm making a little bit more of a in-depth dinner tonight, so um, you guys get to see that too. But I'm just gonna be doing the Madras lentils. These are from Costco, but Trader Joe's sells these little packs of lentils as well, and I think there's like four or five different flavors now. So if you guys are interested, these are super low calorie, tons of protein, let's see. It's, um, and you can microwave in 60 seconds. I'm gonna heat it in the stove top, but um, this one has lentils, red beans, spices, and it's simmered in a creamy tomato sauce. This is so good, I love this. This is like one of my favorite go-to easy lunches. Um, and let's see here, it says, it's about 300 calories for the full bag, and there is six grams of protein per serving, so 12 grams total, because they say, I don't know, two thirds a cup is a serving, but if you're eating this for lunch, 300 calories is not that bad. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up on the stove top, and then I'm gonna have it with one of these Middle Eastern flatbreads. So I just usually like dip it, and it just gives me a little bit something more. Um, of course, you can eat that plain, or you can eat it with anything on the side, crackers or whatever you guys like, but that's my favorite. I love that bread. If you guys have been watching me, you know how much I love that bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the lentils now, and then 
get ready to eat my meal. I'm super excited. So I'm gonna finish cooking up my lunch and then I'll show you guys the finished product when it's all plated and ready to go. My lunch is ready. I just put the soup in a bowl and then my little flatbread here. And FYI, Benson's taking a nap, so I get to just sit here and enjoy my lunch alone, which is kind of sad because I like eating lunch with Benson, but he's decided to take an early nap today, so it is what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this. It's really hot. Mmm, -mm. so good. Guys, if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It's really flavor packed. It's so yummy. And you're getting all your lentils and your beans in your diet. Since I'm vegetarian, I do make sure that I'm getting enough of this in my diet every day, but um, it's good in general, whether or not you're vegetarian, vegan, whatever. This isn't vegan, by the way. There's dairy in it. So I like to just like take a piece of this and dip it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I look forward to my meals every day. I love food and it just makes me feel good to eat something healthy that's good for my body. So for dinner tonight, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see what I'm gonna plan. So it's dinner time, and since you guys have seen me, I worked out, I showered, did my hair, redid my makeup, and now I'm ready to, to cook some dinner. Um, today, I think I'm gonna be making the stir fry. I showed you guys that in a previous haul. It's like a brand new product that Trader Joe's just rolled out, so I think that's what I'm gonna make, and then just the Trader Joe's um, fried rice, the veggie fried rice. And I might add some veggie crumb, or I don't know if it, they're crumbles or not, but I'll show you guys what I'm ending up to add. Um, I am making dinner a little earlier tonight. Benson's starving, so sometimes as a parent, you just go with the flow. You make a little early dinner, and that's what it is. It's probably better, though, anyway, just so you're not eating so late, because Tim and I sometimes will have our own meal later on, and it tends to just be eating too late. So I'm glad we're not doing that. And Tim's home, so he is probably gonna be holding the camera for me while I cook so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. But I just grabbed this. This is the stir fry I was just talking about. And it does have the soba noodles. So I know rice is a little overkill with all the carbs, but Benson most likely will not eat this. He is extremely picky and um, I will give him some. I always try to make sure that I'm serving him food that we're eating so that he can try it. but. A lot of the times he'll try a little bite and then he just won't eat it. And he's one of those kids that if the texture is wrong, he'll start to like gag. He actually never throws up because I try to talk him through it and just say, drink some water and he's fine. But um, obviously I'm not going to force him to eat something that's going to make him throw up. That's, that's not my parenting style. Like I try to give him the choice because I feel like kids aren't given a choice enough and it's going to make him be able to choose later on in life and make the right decision. So um, that's my two cents about that. So here we go, I'm gonna grab everything and then start cooking and you guys get to watch the process. So per the instructions, it says to first take out the soba noodles. So I took them out and I already opened them so I still have one hand to use. And I'm just gonna go ahead and soak them in some hot water or you can microwave for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in and it says let sit for two minutes in the hot water so that they can separate and then you're gonna drain the water out and then saute the veggies and then add the noodles. So pretty simple, straightforward. So I did decide I'm gonna add these corn meatless pieces and shout out to my hubby for holding the camera down. So much easier. <laughs> um, anyways, I am doing the corn meatless pieces. The reason I like corn is because there's no soy in it. It is made out of egg whites, so it's not vegan and it has pea fiber in it and some other things. Anyways, this takes about 12 minutes to saute, so I'm starting with this and I'm just gonna add a little grapeseed oil um, to my pan. 
and then saute these for like five minutes and then I'll add the rice because the rice takes about five minutes to six so that way it'll all be ready together. I'm not going to do the whole bag, I'll probably just do about half a bag. So while that's sauteing, um, I'm going to see if these noodles are ready. And this only takes, let's see, what does it say? Um, three to four minutes, and then you add the noodles for one to two minutes. So I'm trying to time it out that it, so it all is done together. Um, but here's what it looks like on the inside. It looks good. Lots of veggies. I'm excited. And there's cabbage. Sounds good. Here's where I'm at in the process. These are starting to brown, which is perfect. That's what I want. And then the noodles, I spread, I like separated with my fingers and um, drained the water. So they're nice and separated now. And I think I'm going to add the rice and I'm going to add the veggies to saute. I already put some oil in my pan and it's ready to rock. I'm excited. This all is going to be so tasty and pretty healthy too. I'm so excited to eat this. I am going to do a little taste test of the new stir fry from Trader Joe's. Let you guys know how it is. It has a little spice to it, but I will say this sauce isn't super flavorful. So that's fine. I'm still going to eat it. It's still delicious. I hope you guys liked this what I eat in a day. I enjoy filming sometimes just what I do in my life and I hope you guys like that too. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.